Good morning and welcome to a special edition of All About Shanghai, Shanghai in Lockdown. As I speak, it is the morning of April 1st, um, an auspicious day, the irony of which will not escape you in a moment. Since March 1st, cases of COVID-19 and particularly the Omicron, in fact, I think um, entirely the Omicron variant of this virus had been surging um, in Shanghai. And as a result of that, and as a need to maintain a sort of a zero COVID-19 tolerance uh, um, condition, we have been increasingly shut down. And the last two weeks, uh, nobody has been allowed to, to leave their apartment compounds and we've been tested every other day, just about. Um, the streets, as you can see, are eerily empty and quiet, which is pleasant enough for a few days. It's a rotten time of year to be stuck indoors. It's springtime, of course, and in China especially, uh, springtime is is gorgeous because the cherry blossoms are everywhere and everybody goes out to enjoy the blossoms and the flowers. We are lucky from our apartment we can see a small section of park and for once we can hear the birds chirping. But all else is wonderfully quiet. Now I say wonderfully quiet, um, after a while it gets a bit difficult because getting food can be problematic. Lots of things have sold out and online delivery slots, which are normally very easy to get, are almost impossible to find. Somebody must be finding them because we keep seeing delivery scooters running up and down the streets. Not as many as there used to be, for sure, but um, some folks are getting them. Now each, each apartment compound in Shanghai, and probably in China, this works the same way, has what's called a community. It's not quite a compound, a bit different level than just a compound. But um, that community authority, and it is a sort of a, a, the most local governmental authority, is charged with taking care of its inhabitants. And so a few days ago, we were delivered a bag of fresh vegetables and so eggs completely gratis so that's fantastic um, there is a um, an all in it together spirit here that is admirable I have to say perhaps what's not quite so admirable is that it's it's getting to be the case of trying to eradicate something as mild as the common cold or the flu which may be a losing battle. You can see in the drone footage the, f the distant bridge, that's the southernmost bridge that crosses the main river that divides Shanghai into two. And there's virtually no traffic on it. The only traffic allowed on that bridge are delivery vehicles and emergency vehicles. And here you can see the, the highway that um, forms one of the ring roads around Shanghai, which is normally completely chock-a-block with vehicles and now is completely empty. This is one that goes underneath the river. The river, the Huangpu, divides the city into two. Uh, on the west is Puxi and on the east is Pudong. Now the eastern side of the river, Pudong, has been in strict lockdown now for about a week um, and the western side Pushi went into lockdown at 3 a.m. this morning and as I said before we were due to be released at 5 a.m. today which has not happened yet and by all accounts and these things often sort of start from rumors uh, we're not going to get out until April 5th, and even that's a minimum. Now, here are some data. 
These are publicly available data published by the um, Shanghai Municipal Government and the, the health authorities in Shanghai. And here are three graphs. I'm going to show you three graphs. first one shows you the number of positive cases, symptomatic and asymptomatic, since the beginning of March. And as you can see, they've been rising uh, quite quickly. And topped out, it looks like, topped out at about 6,000, and we're just beginning to go over that peak, it seems. There was a bit of a false dawn in the middle of March, so let's hope that this uh, latest one is, is not false. Um, and here's a second graph that shows the number of imported cases. Now, I should say that the first graph was local. These are local cases. Um, the second graph here are just imported folks coming from most of the time Hong Kong uh, or Chinese uh, folks returning from um, trips abroad. And those case numbers are very low. They've always been very low and they're rapidly decreasing. So something is working very well. The third graph is a bit trickier to follow. Um, it is a ratio of all the positive cases, local cases now, uh, the ratio of those that are, have been found from the cohort in quarantine to uh, the number of total local cases. And if the lockdown process is working, the idea is that that ratio should tend to one. And you can see um, during the month of March, it has sort of uh, tended toward the uh, notwithstanding a sort of a blip in the middle of March, um, which might simply reflect differences in the in the testing uh, regime. In any case, there is a general sort of rollover toward something about like about 0.8, uh, which means ostensibly that about 20% of cases are still coming from folks who are or from a cohort that are not not in in quarantine. Right, well, I think that's about it. I'll let you enjoy these wonderful empty scenes. And as this develops, we'll have another episode. Until then, stay safe, be good, do good work, keep in touch with your friends, do like us and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.